Hi guys, how we doing? So I am super excited to be getting back to this. Um, if you're newer to the channel, I started this project last summer. Um, I'm taking an old birdbath pedestal and turning it into a uh, gazing ball statue. Um, I did all of this last year, actually. Um, but then things kind of went sideways and I haven't really had a chance to get out and work on it for over a year now. So I am really excited. All we have left is to get this back looking just as fancy as the front. I say back and front. It, I haven't really decided what's going to be what yet. But... It is a long, slow process. Um, some of you guys have watched some of my videos from last year. Pardon me as I'm fighting to get my concrete stuff open here. <clears throat> now, if you've seen me use this stuff before, I am not sponsored by them in any way, shape, form, or fashion. But if they ever wanted to do it, I sure certainly wouldn't complain. But this is actually what all of the vines have been made from. It's just a really, really handy product. And the good thing is it's actually not that expensive, which is always a bonus. You don't want to have to pay an arm and a leg to do a project that you're doing from home. Now, once again, my usual disclaimer, you should probably wear gloves doing stuff like this. Um, I have a lot of allergies, and it's actually less detrimental for me to have to scrub my hands. <clears throat> Excuse me. My allergies have just gotten me this year. Um, it's a lot easier on me to scrub my hands good than it is to deal with the after effects of a lot of the chemicals that they make the gloves from. And the thicker, heavier, like gardening gloves and things like that, I can't get my fingers in there to do the stuff like this, where we're actually shaping it and sticking it down at the same time. And that went a lot smoother than I expected it to for the first move. So, if you remember from before as well, or if you're new, I do not own fancy, expensive, uh, professional tools for doing the stuff like this. I am literally using a butter knife and my hands. And... Honestly, it works for me. I'm a little sad because I cannot find my handy-dandy screwdriver that is... You guys have seen me use for everything except screwdriving. But I'm sure it'll turn up. We have kind of made a mess, whoops, of our garage of late. So it's in there somewhere. I'm going to pull that chunk down before it pulls the whole thing. Now, this all kind of happened, actually, because I've always seen the gazing balls in yards and gardens, and I've always thought they were gorgeous. And I started looking at them last year, because I really kind of want one. Do you have any idea how expensive those silly things are? It's definitely not worth a few hundred dollars to me to stick a ball on a post in, in my yard. And so I decided to make my own. And it has been a very wild ride. <laughs> it's kind of funny and kind of fun. But a lot of this stuff, I'm not doing things that I know how to do. I'm doing things that I'm kind of figuring them out along with you guys. 
And I think that makes it more fun. If you're doing the exact same thing all the time and you get really good at it, but it also kind of gets dull. It's fun to challenge your brain and come up with different things. Try things you're not necessarily comfortable with. And just throw it out there. See what sticks. And you can see I did draw guidelines of where I wanted the vines to go. I have done none of that. Um, but they seem to kind of have almost a mindset uh, very similar to actual vines. They kind of go where they want. Come on. To be fair, it is really not cooperating right now. Let's try that again. Now, I know I tried a handful of different ways of going about this last year. Um, I don't honestly remember everything that worked perfectly well. So, we're just kind of going with it. And we're trying to see what, what we can make happen. But I am happy to see with the short that I popped up earlier, it does seem like you guys are just as excited to see this actually happening again as I am. I have been thinking about and dreaming of getting back to this all summer long. It is relaxing in its own oddball little way. And it's definitely nice being up on my table so I'm not sitting on my hard concrete in front of the garage trying to do this while working with you guys on a short tripod sitting at my knee as I try to find good angles while I'm working at the same time. So what I'm trying to do is just go ahead and get this particular base uh, vine laid. Once that's done, then we'll come through and stick some branches coming off. And then we've got a couple of branches that need leaves. I don't know how long we're going to go at it today. Um, but this is something we'll be working on for a good long while, I think. It's not a... A fast-moving project, but I think it's going to be a hundred percent worth the while when it does get finished, and hopefully it'll be something that lives in my garden for years to come. And if it works out well, it might be something that I try to do for other people occasionally as well. Um, I don't know. This is the first project I've taken on where I'm literally creating something as opposed to repairing, restoring, repainting. So it might just be something that stays special in my yard and maybe goes to my daughter or granddaughter someday if they choose to want it. I will say it's definitely something that will never be sold. If I decide it needs to belong to somebody else, it will be gifted because I feel like certain types of art have to be gifted. 
They're not meant to be sold right off the bat. There we go. So those little crossovers there, those took... Oh, I'm going to have to raise you guys up just a little bit to see that, aren't I? There we go. So these little crossovers, they're a little harder than you would expect them to be, I think. Just getting it to look organic as opposed to like just one line of something shoved on top of another. There we go. Okay. I'm going out of line on you guys again. I think I have. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop going up with this line for the time being. I'm just going to finish this little piece that I'm working on here. There we go. And then we're going to come back down a little bit. Pardon my bandaged finger there. That is a uh, fingernail that I managed to break off way below the quick. So you're going to see the band-aid in, in videos for the time being. Because the finger looks gross and I don't want to gross anybody out. That's just not fun in my eyes. Come on. Well, that was a little messy, but it gets the base across for us. There was so much trial and error in figuring out how long is too long to be able to attach. And as you can see, I'm still kind of grappling with that. Oh, you little... Alright, so that didn't go as planned. You can't panic too hard when things don't go the way you want them to. Sometimes you just have to figure out another way to go about it. Like this, for example. So I'm going to take my... I do apologize for the arm in the shot. I'm just trying to straighten this out just a little bit here. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Here's a branch starting off. It is really neat from my point of view watching this thing grow and kind of become more than what I really expected it to. I did not know if I was going to be able to make it look anything like the picture I had in my mind. And it already, believe it or not, is actually a lot more intricate and detailed than I thought I was going to be able to go. planned. This little area here is just resisting being laid on, isn't it? So it can resist all at, all at once. It's still going to happen. And 
And if you're wondering, yes, it does take me a good while to get all of the concrete out from under my fingernails. Does that mean I'm going to change the way I do things anytime soon? No. But, all right, fine. You want to be difficult, we'll be difficult. So this does not want to cooperate, so we're going to make it. Let go of my finger. Thank you. So now we're just going to clean this up. starting to look a little bit like a vine again. If you're working on something and you're not, it's not something you normally do, it's all right if it gets away from you a little bit. That can happen. Just find a way to rein it back to where you want it. And then continue on So, it's not as neat as I'd like it to be, but it's a good start, and I can come over that and build it up a little bit at another time. Let's see, how are we doing on time? So, one thing I do want to do is at least work on a few leaves with you guys, see if we can remember how to do those. Seeing as it's been a minute since I did this... So we're going to actually come to this guy that's been been here for a little while. And let's see. Boy, he's a thick one. All right. So we're just going to shape these. Um, the goal is to keep it kind of an oval leaf with a little bit of a point. And then we're just going to come in and just cut into it and then tap it down. And we have a leaf. I can't believe I actually remembered how to do that. I'm kind of happy now. <laughs> you can't expect yourself to be perfect all the time, every time. But when something actually works the way you had planned, you should absolutely celebrate it. Or even if it just works better than you expected. stinker it doesn't want to hold get on there I can mush you in and then shape you all I want yes we're talking to concrete now that is a thing we're not gonna make a big thing of it right
Sometimes you just got to do what you just got to do, right? There we go. There we go. It's not quite as pretty, but gets the point across. This is one of those things I could sit and work on these all day, given half a chance. I have a lot of other things I have to do, but just... sitting and playing with molding vines and leaves out of concrete is really bizarrely relaxing and enjoyable. Oh, no you don't. You little stinker. Sorry, guys. We are uncooperative today. But that's all right. Because we can just work with it. There we go. So we're making at least a little bit of progress today. I wasn't sure how much I would be able to do or what I would be able to remember how to do. But we seem to be doing well enough. We are past that 20 minute mark where I try not to go too, too far past it. I try to make 30 the longest I go. I think after this, this leaf, if I can convince it to go on here. I think he's just not quite thick enough. There we go. There we go. So we've got some leaves on this guy and we've extended this these two out which is pretty good for today. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and stop there. Um, we'll continue this tomorrow. There will be way more to do. But if we continue on a time frame like this, it won't be more than a couple of days before she's ready to be primered. And I'm excited to see what that holds. And then we'll start tackling the actual ball itself. So... I will talk to you guys tomorrow.